Hola amigos, bienvenidos. Today I will be telling you about breaking resistors used in VFD. Four topics I will cover. Why do we use connection of breaking resistor, termination, calculation of breaking resistor ohms value, calculation of breaking resistor power rating that is the wattage. First topic why do we use? So whenever we run a motor in say 1500 rpm normal or 1800 rpm and we suddenly stop the motor, the motor acts as a generator and creates back EMF. So when we have back EMF here it and if we don't have the free wheeling diodes then the IGBTs will be damaged. The back EMF from the diodes go to the capacitor bank and increases the DC voltage. And if you don't control it, then it can damage the rectifier, IGBT or card etc. This circuit senses the over voltage, DC voltage and switches on this IGBT. And then the voltage goes through the resistor to the negative and the excess voltage is dissipated through heat. In two type of applications, we can use the braking resistor. In faster deacceleration rate, if the deacceleration rate is set at 0.5 or less and the frequency is 1500 or more, then when we stop the motor, the voltage exceeds. And second, when the motor speed is exceeding synchronous speed, that means 1500 normal motor speed and it is running in 1800 or more, then there will be an over voltage. Where do we connect braking resistor in VFD? I have shown you four different types of VFD terminal for images. In this one, the B1 is positive and B2 is resistant breaking point. So we connect the resistor in B1 and B2. Same like that, in this drive, the positive plus 1 and PB, we connect the breaking resistor. And in this one, the PA plus and PB. And in this one, B1 and B2. Now let's see how do we calculate the ohms of the braking resistor. So first we need to calculate the VDC of the drive. So the, this is the formula for calculation of voltage. And the braking IGBT activation level is at 125% of VDC. For example, 440 volt AC input. So volt DC is equal to volt AC into V square. Equal to 440 into 1.41 that is 620.4 voltage. So the switch on level is 125%. So 620.4 into 1.25 that is 775 voltage. This is the voltage where the IGBT gets triggered for breaking. That is that whenever we have the voltage 775 volt or greater, the IGBT is triggered and the breaking is applied. So this is the formula for the breaking resistor ohms finding VDC switch on square upon peak power peak. And as we saw on this formula, this is the VDC switch on voltage and this is the formula for the peak power finding. The motor power rating into percentage of torque and we take 1.5 as the constant here for the torque. We have to use the motor power rating in kilowatt, HP won't do. So I have this 2.2 kilowatt motor that is 2200 into 1.5 equal to 3300 watt. And if you have your rating in HP, then this formula I have given to convert it to a kilowatt. And I, this is the example of kilowatt to HP. That is 2.2 is equal to 2.949 HP. That is 3 HP. So 3300 is the peak power. And as per this calculation, 775.5 into 2 upon 3300. So we get the value of 182.24 ohms. And as this is a very odd value, you can use 200 ohms or something nearby, not less than. That is the minimum value you have to use. So you can use 200 or 220 ohms, maximum. So now the calculation of the braking resistor power rating. And the formula is power is equal to P peak divided by 10. And the previous formula we found that the power peak is equal to 3300 watt. So 3300 divided by 10, that is equal to 330 watt. And as this will be a odd value, maybe not available in the market, we can use 200 ohms, 400 watt or 500 watt. So guys, that's all for today. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Take care guys, stay safe, stay healthy. Jai Hind, Vande Matram.